Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great weekend. Become a servant of love. Love is what makes you happy. And if you become a servant of love and your partner becomes a servant of love, the day will come when you can be with each, when you can be with the, your partner with no guilt, no blame, no anger, and no sadness. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 435, NASDAQ's off 358, SPs are off 80, gold contract up $24.30, traded 1861 an ounce. You got silver up nine cents, twenty-three dollars sixty-two cents an ounce. Light three crude up three sixty-eight, ninety-three dollars fifty-eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up twenty-one ticks right now, one twenty-six fourteen. Thirty-year up a full point at one fifty-two twenty. And king dollar. King dollar is up four hundred eighty-one ticks, trading ninety-six oh three. Euro is one thirteen. Yen is at one fifteen point two seven, and the British pound is trading out here at one thirty five to one u s dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the s and p let's go let's take a look at them. What do we got out here? Okay, so first, I'm going to bring up the futures. Let's take a look. The volatility is here in spades. There's no doubt about that. That being said, uh, this came right down to these highs of the lows, man. And this is a nice setup. And thus far, you know, so right now, we had a low out here in the S&P of 43.98. Right now, you're 20 points above that, okay? So the bottom line is that we're down 79. The real question is going to be, can this go down like 50 before the close? Because if that's what you get, that's, that, that to me would be a rejection of lower price as you came into the highs of the lows, because we're not, it's, the volume's not gonna get close. So that's the bullish scenario. The bearish scenario would be that if we close right here, we will go after this high volume low. You gotta remember something, that high volume low is out here at 42.12. That's gonna get tested. Um, and what does happen is that when we did this yesterday, when you take the whole top to the bottom, oh yeah, so this is cool, so check this out. Oh, this is really cool. I forgot about this part. So check it out. So when we take the highs to the lows, we did a counter trend bounce, folks, okay, going all the way up to a 0.618 of that move. So when you do a 0.618 retracement, it's, you know, nothing's always 100%, but your probability is right up there whether, you know, it's, it's a very good probability that you just come back down and test the lows. Now, if that's what we get, the cool thing about understanding the FIB expansion contraction right here is that you can get a lot less paranoid buying that low, first off, because you already did a 0.618 retracement. You come back down there. You, you know, bottom line is that if that's what we do, it'll be very nasty going down there. That, 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 because it, they, they're not gonna make this easy to buy. So that's, that's the positive. The negative would go like this. The negative would have us close here, and then you go sideways, and as you're going sideways, you're building more cars. We do not wanna see that happen, because if you see that happening, then this could be an ABC structure on the way down. That's your S&P. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NASDAQ composite. I mean, the NASDAQ NDX futures. And they're much weaker. So, NQ. Okay, so, come on, baby. Okay, so we take a look at the futures. The NASDAQ futures, this is. They're already into that bar. So if we close here, that's going to go after them. And the positive deal going after them is that it's going to need a huge amount of volume. But, you know, we'll see. The NQs would have to close above 14,499. Uh, 499? Yeah, 499. So you're deep into them, man. So that's saying it wants to basically go after it. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract got... Big juice out here when Britain uh, turned around and also said they wanted their, their folks 
out of uh, Ukraine. And so you saw you saw this, you know, basically go topside about uh, one thirty. You know, it was flat. Then it went topside in a big way. Yesterday, we got big volume. Today, you got big volume. That's saying that's gold going after this uh, 1882. That's how this baby's shaking out. The, if we go to the GDX and we take a look at a few of these gold equities, you're going to see the GDX, bottom line. This took out a B point, took it out with volume. So that's an ABC structure up. It's uh, 32, let's say 29. It's a small one. Three points give you... 3355 and your swing point up there is at 3319. Um, the thing that's going to be a little dicey is this. I don't like that gold actually moved versus war versus inflation. Uh, when you get that, folks, uh, many times it's a one day wonder and you come right back down the other side. Uh, if we take a look at the dollar, what do you have with the dollar out here? Dollar's up 455 ticks. That's still having a hard time holding price. There's no doubt about that. Um, we take a look at, uh, let's go look at oil, man. Oil, that 107 on oil, man, is just laying out there. There she is. Okay. So oil contracts up $3.82. You broke top side. Let's see, get another ABC. We're going to have another ABC up, man. This is wild. Okay. So this is uh, 93. Oh, there you go. 81, 12 bucks, 12, 90, there's 102. So you get a 102 A to B equals a C to D. Higher prices are coming out here, man, in the, inside the oil market. Well, the commodities are out there. There's no doubt about it. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, Advanced Micro is down $11. You have uh, Firm Holdings, that's getting smoked again, down $12. NVIDIA is down 18 You get American Airlines down a buck and a half. Uh, Facebook's down $7.50. Um, Exxon is up 154. You get a, not only a true rotation out here, uh, which <laughs> what you have is that you do have a lot of damage. The real question is going to be, as it comes into the highs of these lows, is it going to be able to hold price? That's the real number out here. Dow Industrials right now trading up, uh, or trading down rather, 465. Nasdaq's off 379. S&Ps are off 83. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.